to me, aviation law is the most exciting field that you could be in. My name is Roger Clark, and I am a proud member of the Rutgers Law School class of 1978. You know, when I have a skills class like, like this, and I like to take from real life um, and something that's recent. I've built the course this year uh, around the Southwest incident. Southwest Flight 1380 was flying from LaGuardia uh, to Dallas. It had to make this emergency landing in Philadelphia. Covering from the left engine had ripped off and the window was damaged. We become a shadow law firm and basically act out that if we're a law firm, we just got an assignment, uh, we play it from both sides, either for the claimant, you know, the plaintiff or, or the defendant or one of the defendants, and we start analyzing uh, how, how we're going to work out this case, just like we would in a real law firm. So we started with a two-week intensive session, um, and then over the past uh, five or six weeks, um, they have been working on an assignment which uh, either they were either assigned a motion for summary judgment or an opposition to that motion. Uh, and they've been um, hard at work um, going beyond the materials they read in class and doing their own independent research just as if they were in a law firm. The description of the course was really relevant. It was really interesting. It was a small class and it kind of gave us uh, more class interaction. We had more opportunity to talk and learn and interact with Professor Clark. Uh, the students will be arguing motions for summary judgment to two things. One, uh, there's, will be a, there's a dispute over how to interpret the Montreal Treaty and what impact that has on what damages might be recovered by uh, some of the plaintiffs. Uh, and then another group will be arguing the choice of law because uh, we have some plaintiffs who suffered uh, significant emotional distress damages, post-traumatic stress disorder, you know, the fear of flying, very, very legitimate claims. But the states vary on the recoverability of those damages. Uh, these are real world issues uh, that people in this field deal with all the time. And so we're trying to duplicate uh, you know, what uh, lawyers in this field in the real world do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is only my third time arguing at all, one being my 1L year and once again this year. So it's still very unfamiliar. <laughs> I've been teaching this course now for a decade or better. I, I so enjoy it. Uh, I, I, I really do and, and uh, would like to do it as long as I can, as long as I think I'm bringing value to the students. One, one of the great thrills, uh, you know, I have is when, you know, there's the student that will come, come to me at some point during the class and make uh, a statement that, uh, you know, I never thought about aviation law. Uh, but that sounds like it would be fun. 